Okay. Less than a minute left. I got it on mute right now. Jeff Keighley is like playing live. I'm gonna play it. He... <laughs> I got the one got that play. I was just about to say he got some pop music playing. And he, um, I was on Twitter. They, everybody was like, he had the Wii Sports, um, not the Wii Sports, like the Wii Channel music playing too. But kind of scared. Look, I finished my coffee. Finished the coffee. I'm excited. I don't think I can scream after this. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Summer Game Fest. Is it loud enough? Yeah, it's loud enough on this. I mean, I can hear it perfectly. What are you gonna show us? Yesterday, Tony Hawk, what do you got for us today? Epic Games, Fortnite, Unreal Engine. So it's Hello, a game. I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics here at Epic Games. Okay. Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. Special a few Project. Years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state of the art in real time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, okay. there was another area that we thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. Okay, and this sounds way models. technical. What I the fuck is going on? To import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. Okay. And what? we call What's this new on? technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Oh, okay. So, let's take a look at it. So this is PlayStation 5. This has to be the right way. Summer Game Fest. Who was Shorty? Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets. What the, the game versions, fuck? This is crazy. Versions, which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each. And thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Ooh. Then it can render an insane number okay, of triangles. Okay, PlayStation. Okay, PlayStation. triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. All right, you're explaining this all this, but we want to see the games. To accurate as well, <laughs> and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic. With the power of Lumen, that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Oh, shit. Okay, let's keep going. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Okay. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. I thought we weren't gonna get any coral areas like this in in this generation. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. Oh my God. We've also added a ton of new functionality. 
to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. It looks like water to me. <laughs> The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Oh, don't. Is it Fortnite? They moved Fortnite over to the chaos thing. If they make Fortnite look this good, my god! Please! Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character okay. to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Okay. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on okay. display. Nice. Any light source can move while oh, still having beautiful bugs. bounce light. I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs. Illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. What the fuck? That's cool, that means... And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over Is this, this just a tech demo? demo? There are hundreds of billions of triangles. What the fuck are they showing us? Like, It's something that's gonna be on PS5. I'm more worried about the game. They're more worried about explaining the technical aspect of it. Looks like a rogue. You have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination. All running on a PlayStation 5. Okay, PlayStation 5. Epic putting their money at work, man! They putting that Fortnite money at work! <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, Keely. It's crazy, yo. What if this is the PlayStation 5 blowout <laughs> event? It's constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. That's what this is? Horizon? How am I not getting Horizon vibes from this? Don't fail me now. Oh, shit. Of course she can fly. Of course. Woo, boy! Look at this. Everything happens to be destruct like breaking on her. Oh my god, let's fucking go. Get can you just add make this a Superman game? Like can you make me a Superman game like this? Jesus Christ. This is epic games. This is not for for um Horizon. I keep thinking like like there's no way this is Horizon. What is this? You're not gonna even drop the title? V? Unreal Engine 5? That's what that was? It was an Unreal Engine 5 trailer, but not a game? 
There you go. The Unreal Engine 5 is real, and that was the first real-time footage of uh, something running on the PlayStation 5 as okay. well. Such an amazing day, I think, for gamers. That was cool. Not what I expected at all. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to upload this, but it's going to be small. Uh, it's just the beginning. <laughs> if you're watching this, this is going to be at the end. They just basically talked a lot. You don't need my reaction of them talking. I think just the beginning of it was substantial enough for me to have a reaction to and put it out there. But Jesus Christ, after 51 minutes, it was just a bunch of... Ah, ah, ah. But nothing really. Glad Fortnite is coming to next-gen consoles, but besides that, we didn't even get a game. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one